Okay, this is the project for the day. Let me just show you this. This carpet is worn and it's time to take it out. I got the two holes for the tables there and then here is something <laughs> that I uh, it's that foam insulation stuff spray and I stepped on the can and a whole bunch came out so anyway uh, here's the edging of the stuff I'm gonna use I think I might go up between the two seats if I uh, figure out a way where to put it I've got to go along a line here like this and leave the carpet under the seat and in the front and the where the feet where your feet are and uh, but I might go up to the motor hump there I don't know yet so at least I've got a guidance along the bed this comes up take the black molding here off take this off and then this carpet here has to stay it, I, I, it, the stuff I have doesn't bend around like that so I might have to cut it off here like this and then put the edging on up like so and I think I'll put this piece on I'll maybe get a new a new piece of that or some way I see I have to I have to screw it down somehow and then same along here we'll put the edging like so right there like that so underneath the bed will be or underneath the seats will be left so I'll have to take this molding off here and that's the project for the day and what's going in what I'm putting in is this rubberized stuff that's like a puzzle you got the puzzle edges I don't know if you can see that well enough and it's uh, each piece is 18 square inches or 18 by 18 inches and it's 13.5 square feet that'll do so I'm hoping that at least it will look a lot better and work better I don't know if I have to glue it down just the edges at least so that's the project for the day and the first thing is I guess rip out the carpet and then it's uh, we're committed so I'll have to cut it where I want it to go I think I'll just go straight down here for now and not worry about the motor hump and just see what I can get away with if I rip up the carpet up to that point and I think okay I can put it all the way well then I'll all the way up to the motor the dog house there and I'll do it that way but this carpet is just filthy it's worn really bad and it's it's pretty filthy especially that spot there that I stepped on the can of spray insulation foam and that's what's happened there okay guys it looks like we're committed the carpet is up and taken out And I've got the two holes here. Let me just see if I can get this camera to work a little better. Okay. We've got one hole there. Another hole there. That's where... Let me just see here. These here plates go down in the holes, sealed from the bottom a little better. We'll have to cut holes in the in the uh, rubber. It's kind of a rubber-based stuff that I've got. Be much much easier to keep clean. I just can sweep it and wipe it down, 
carpet just gets dirty and I got some oil spots and what have you and it just won't work. So it's interlocking pieces like a puzzle and they go together and form one big sheet there. So looks like it's going to be easy to put down. It cuts very easy with a utility knife. So it should be an easy install. And then I have edging too that goes with it. Okay, <clears throat> I've got the uh, tile all cut and just simply laying in there. And what I've got now is along the edges here, I have uh, some contact cement. Right on, guys, it's in. Took the carpet out, replaced it with this rubber mat interlocking puzzle rubber rubber mat here put the two table uh, holders holes back in I've just got to run some uh, edging along there yet and we're done way better than that blue carpet there So perfect. Love it. Much better. Love it.